It is. It is your natural state. Oh, it is, right? Yeah. This is a good one. The natural state to the here. Undo the unnecessary and involuntary. Okay. Okay, you need to cover it up. And by adding new facts, figures, or experiences. Okay, you're going to hand it over to the left. I'll read the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is. It is your natural state that is realized more by removing what is used to cover it up than by adding new facts, figures, or experiences. Uh -huh. So, keep going? our natural state is what? Love, joy, peace, harmony. That is your natural state. But as long as you're giving attention to thoughts that upset you, anger you, fill you with resentment, frustrate you, Mm. You're not going to feel your natural state of love, joy, peace, and harmony. You're going to what? You're going to be upset, angry. You're, and that's, they're all different ways of suffering. So, this is the end of suffering. So, to get rid of suffering in our lives, we need to get rid of what? We need to get rid of the thoughts that used to make us suffer. And how do we get rid of the thoughts that used to make us suffer? Move attention away. We move the attention away. We notice the thought. You have to notice it. If you don't notice it, you're going to fall right into the trap time and time again. You're going to start thinking about things that upset you. But now you notice it. You notice it, and you say, no, I don't want to go there. And then you refuse to give attention to that thought. And you notice this. Kind of other things you could give attention to. It's like in this room, I do not have to give attention to this piece of paper right here. I can give attention, there's, you know, the ceiling, there's the fans, there's the floor, there's the wall, there's the windows, there's that nice sign up there, there's speakers. So why do I give attention to this? If this is what is making me suffer, why am I obsessed with giving attention to that when there's so many other things I could give attention to? Now the same is true with our lives, you know. Why give attention to something that is going to make you suffer when there are so many other wonderful, beautiful things to give attention to in our lives? But to do that, we need to notice that we're doing it. We need to realize, I'm doing this. And there's a saying in Spanish, MGM Studios is a scenic designer. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. Wow, I, did a, I designed a crap that went around the rides. My dream job. Yeah. <laughs> they paid you good? Huh? They paid you good? Yeah, they paid me real good, but I was paying too much off for free. So I made as much as a McDonald's was. <laughs> Bye. It's like a dream. Yeah, it is. All the colors. Sueño. <laughs> but I'm curious how you did the concrete on the wall. And, and there? I love it. Oh, I made a styrofoam form. Uh -huh. And then they, they put wow. a bunch of nails inside the form, and then they filled it with concrete. Uh -huh. And then... Mm. Not really. This is my outdoor kitchen. How sweet. Whoa. Oh, wow. This is my back that is cool. I, I do a, Come I in here, babe. I, I have a haunted, Check this out. No. I have a haunted house back here, but That's his bat cage. What? Bat cave. He's got a haunted house. Yeah. You can look. Check that out. Whoa, that's crazy. <laughs> Marsegu Loco. Wow. Uh, Look at this place. <laughs> I have a, a little cut on those places like this. I love your style. <laughs> you make it's science. pretty cool. You made that uh -huh. That's not my cat, though. That's uh, Carlos Kitty, isn't it? Meow. Yeah. Mm. That's you Julia. Came. That's her name. Mm. Julia. Oh, that's our cat's daughter. Is there a jacuzzi in there? Yeah, see. It's, no I way. Put, I put, like, uh, Gabriela, there's a jacuzzi in there. Check it out. What? Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, we got some amazing Whoa. people living here, aren't you, Carlos? Why are you? That's what's up. A little rubber.
a little like jacuzzi with light. They're going to be here about three weeks or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. about a month altogether. I have a guest house alongside my house, the guest room, alongside the house. It's uh -huh. not in the house. Uh -huh. It's cozy. They have their own entrance. And, and the Wi Fi oh, is okay. lightning it's got fast. Everything. Little bit's got everything. Yeah. Little so it's things, everything you need. Hot shower. Microwave. On a surfboard. You know I know how to ride a surfboard. Come see this guy read What is this? This is like going on one of those rides at Disneyland. Ding 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 ding. This is cool. Check out this. How come I feel like I'm on a weird movie set? I really feel like. Here we go. Are we rolling? Yes, we are. Bingo, this place looks nice. Check this out. A walk in the garden. Yep. David's garden. Yep. David's meditation garden. Look at that beautiful place. I can leave. Who, who tends the garden, David? The workers. The workers? How long have you had it? Here, We've somewhere. had it for uh, maybe a year and a half or so. That's it? Did Betty, um, I mean, um, Carla had anything to do with the gardening? Uh, not really. No? That was you who chose the Yeah, plants, because you know? we were up at that uh, you know, Yogananda's place there in uh, Lucadia, and he has a beautiful... I've event. seen Yogananda. I, I know the one in uh, Sunset Boulevard. Uh -huh. So gorgeous. And he has a beautiful one there in Lucadia. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanted to do something similar, you know, on mm -hmm. a smaller... It's beautiful. I love the Look at the bushes, babe. Yeah. It's so awesome. That's a really pretty garden. So pretty. Just talking about, we were just reading this about morning Elvis for today. whatever reason we decided to and we're uh, not Google Elvis, to we're see not. how Elvis this died. This is our cat's daughter. She was born at our house and she had her, her legs were crooked like this. Oh no! And they they taped them. <laughs> and she had to hop around for like about wow. three weeks or so. Oh. And they straighten out. Whoa. So this is a pepper uh, tree. Uh -huh. That's so beautiful. It is beautiful. It's old, huh? Who planted it, David? You know? well, probably my parents. Your parents? Yeah. So that's their legacy, right here. We get to sit in the These shade. These other ones, are, well, let's see. Those ones are from my old farm. Uh huh. Are, I think like some kind of a willow, aren't they? Yeah, they look like a willow. Mm. So yep. nice. That's a beautiful that's pepper tree. Yuvia. Yuvia. Rain. Yeah. She's so skinny. Mm -hmm. yeah. I like mm -hmm. the mule. Why would you do the mule? Oh, Ron's mm -hmm. an artist. He used to work for Disney. Oh, the guy who lives in here. Is he, is he one of it? Yeah. That's such a beautiful mule. Yeah, it is. What a great mule, babe. Yeah, it oh, is. Oh, he does all kinds of good stuff. Oh, really? It's so funny. He used to work for Disney. Yeah, he lives in Florida and he had a motorcycle accident. That's why he's kind of messed up. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, well, that's his house right there. See that? Oh, so he's got that beautiful RP. Yeah. That's the guy, the American guy that's sitting there. The guy who I sent to my assistant. Oh, your, oh, this guy, that guy. Oh, no kidding. The guy who takes over the line out of here. Oh, wow. Yeah, boy. Yeah, must have Parkinson's. Yeah, it's been It happens when you get him. You get a lot of things. All right. Oh, he's younger than I am. Hmm? Cafe Sopueda. He's younger? No, he killed the thing. That's what happens when I take care of him. Bye bye. Yeah. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow. Yeah. Yes. Just like the panel, right? Yeah, it's going to end one day, but geez, man.